Hi everyone, it's Dan for Numerical Lion. It's Friday, December 13th. Saw this story yesterday. They survived New Zealand's volcano eruption, then went back to rescue others. Those that don't know, there's a volcanic eruption in New Zealand, off the coast of New Zealand, on an island called White Island. And uh, here's a story in Wakahante, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not, New Zealand. Jeff Hopkins says he will never forget the cries as the survivors of the White Island volcano eruption were pulled aboard the boat, screaming in pain with skin peeling from their faces and limbs scorched by steam and ash. The survivors were transferred from a dinghy bobbing in the water off the small island. There was lots of screaming, panicked screaming, he says, recalling the injured, shouting, get me out of here, I'm burning, I'm burning. The tour boat Hopkins was on had left White Island off the coast of Wat Wakante, why can't I pronounce that name, New Zealand. Shortly before the volcano erupted on Monday, 47 people we're on the island at the time of the blast. Eight people have so far been confirmed dead. So, notice that 47 people were on the island. Here's a picture of them. Jeff and Liliana Hopkins prior to the volcano eruption. Um, more pictures. And here's... Another picture of the uh, eruption. I was uh, in Washington State when Mount St. Helens erupted, and that was pretty interesting. The whole sky went black, and my dad was like, let's get out of here, Calpurnia. <laughs> you know, a, ref a reference to Vesuvius erupting. We were the only ones on the road. <laughs> this is eastern Washington, and we went to Portland, Oregon, and it, not, we didn't, not Portland, Pendleton, just south of us and you know blue skies and they hadn't even heard that there had been an eruption so anyway um let's get to the decode here what i noticed about this well right away i noticed you know this obsession with 47 hopkins equals 47 the guy jeff hopkins the first guy they talk about in the article Hopkins equals 47 in the um, the S with the S exception. Also look at this these death numbers, death, killing, murder. Hopkins 47 death 97 and 38 just like Hopkins, right? 97 the 25th prime number two so as relationship to 25 at death also you got killing 38 murder 38 and 34 just like hopkins also 34 so this was white island new zealand if you write it all out, it equals 94. Oops. 94. And 94 is 47 plus 47. Also, dead is 94. You know, a bunch of people died. So, a White Island erupted at 211 local time. 211 happens to be the 47th prime, just like Hopkins, just like 47 people on the island. 211. Um, not sure why it's not working here. 211. 47th prime. There you go. Hopkins 47, 47 people on the island, 
Hawaii Island is 94, 47 plus 47. So no, New Zealand equals 105 or 15. New Zealand, put it in the calculator. That's where the volcano erupted equals 105. Numerology don't count. The zero, so 105 is 15. And the thing about 47 is that 47 is the 15th prime number. So that's the relationship there. And if you write out 47, because I was intrigued that they actually wrote out 47 instead of just giving you the number, it has a relationship with volcano. 47 equals 149. 149, the 35th prime number, and volcano, when spelled correctly, equals 35. Also look at these 107. I'll show you why this is interesting a little bit later. Um, and Jeff Hopkins equals 193. 193, the 44th prime number, that kill number. That military number, 193. Also look at this, 49, 47 equals 49 as well. Jeff Hopkins and 47, there's a, there's a correlation there. But anyway, getting back to 193, 193, the 44th prime, like kill. Also 28, like volcano. Right? And also like military. Military 44, also 107. Like volcano. And you probably know where I'm, what I'm getting at because this is weather manipulation. This is uh, earth manipulation. You can cause a volcano. You can cause an earthquake. They have the technology um, to do these things. So eruption also 44, right? That military number. Eruption 44, also 46, like sacrifice. So White Island equals 173. It's where the eruption happened. On White Island, 173 which happens to be the 40th prime number, happened on a day with 40 numerology. 12 plus 9 plus 19 is 40. White Island Tours are getting a lot of grief right now for leading a tour over there. Equals 73 on a day with 21 numerology. 73, the 21st prime, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. White Island Tours, 73. The 21st prime number. Also sacrifice 73. Sacrifice 73. Also 55 like military. 46. Um, yeah, eruption 46 as well. All right. Isn't that what they used to do in the old days? They would throw virgins into the volcano as a sacrifice so this this continues you know <laughs> more sacrifice you know and now yeah the uh they're getting heat for this the uh the the tour company Let's see if i can find out where they talk about it so the vessel owned by a company called White Island Tours was more accustomed to running sightseeing trips than being used as a floating triage center. Um, so it turned into a triage center. Um, where they talk about where they're going to get a little trouble for it. Thirty-three percent of his body is burned. Ah, that number again. So, 
At some point I heard they were getting grief for this, uh, White Island Tours. Uh, maybe I'll find it later on. I won't see it here. But they're being questioned about it. So, let's get back to the decode here. So, White Island Tours equals 91. Volcanic Eruption equals 91. Do that, 91. And Volcanic Eruption. Volcanic Eruption. Oh, Volcanic is 47. <laughs> Just like there are 47 people on the island, just like Hopkins, 47. Just like it happened at 211 local time. Also murder number here. Murder here. So volcanic eruption equals 91. 91, that 13th triangular number. Um... So it happened in the Bay of Plenty. Bay of Plenty equals 141 and 156. And if you write out 33, that number of masonry, that number of the gang, really, equals 156 and 141. So Bay of Plenty. Look at Bay of Plenty. And 33, there is a connection between them. So this happened on a day with 33 numerology as well. 12 plus 9 plus 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 9 is 33. So another sacrifice to the gods. <laughs> You know, the volcano gods, was this an eruption caused by the military? Do they have this technology? Look up HARP. H-A-A-R-P and volcanic eruptions. I don't know if that'll do it, but. See, harp, electromagnetic waves can be used to stimulate geophysical events such as earthquake, climate change, volcanic eruptions, and the like. This is from PressCore.ca. So in a lecture on April 27, 1997 at the University of Georgia, former Secretary of Defense William Cohen spoke on weapons of mass destruction. At that lecture, Cohen asserted that electromagnetic waves can be used to stimulate geophysical events such as earthquakes, climate change, volcanic eruptions, and the like. This was in 1997. The Secretary of Defense said this. That was, what, 21 years ago? 22 years ago? And that's what he publicly said. He also stated that this is being used in an eco type of terrorism. Can we take Cohen's assertions to be factual? As Secretary of Defense, Cohen would have had firsthand technical knowledge of the existence of such a weapon of mass destruction. So if what he was saying is true, who is using this weapon of mass destruction in eco type of terrorism? Since Cohen worked for the United States government, the only plausible answer would be the United States government. I'm sure other governments are doing it. HARP's been around for a long time. Um, HARP was developed by Bill Clinton and Al Gore administration as the United States weapon of mass destruction. HARP was built by Bill Clinton and Al Gore to beam electromagnetic waves into the Earth's ionosphere to trigger geophysical events such as earthquakes, climate modification, volcanic eruptions, and the like. Congressional hearing records during the Clinton administration and the HARP 
patents disclosed that heart beaming heats the ionosphere. As we all know, heat causes things to expand. We also know that heat rises. As heart heats one part of the ionosphere, the ionosphere expands and gets pushed higher. This heart ionosphere heating can cause a controlled diverting or altering of the natural path of jet streams. So, let's put in harp. Harp 44, just like military, just like volcano, <laughs> right? Volcano 28 as well. What else was 91? Volcanic eruption 91. White Island Tours 91, right? Harp 44. They're playing God too, God 26 number, harp. What does harp stand for? Harp, acronym. What does it stand for? High, the high frequency active auroral research program jointly funded by the US Air Force US Navy the University of Alaska Fairbanks and the Defense Advanced Research Projects this is not a conspiracy theory this is a real thing you know let's put that let's see what that is oh look at this <laughs> 223 this number the synagogue of satan 88 time number. So 223, also the 48th prime. I think we were talking about 48 earlier with Bay of Plenty 48, right? Also, this is interesting. 227, the 49th prime. Like, what was that like? Like Jeff Hopkins 49, if you write out 47. It's 49, 49, number of revelation. 227 is that pi thing. You know, 22 divided by 7 is the approximation of pi. Things go in circles and cycles. Let's write out the synagogue of Satan. This, that's who's behind this. People who will rule in the end times, the false Jews, the synagogue of Satan, 223. Murder death numbers as well. So that about does it. Um, you know, military strikes again with another volcanic eruption. These days you don't know what is what man is doing and what is done by nature. Well, anyway, thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this video. My name is Dan. Please support this work and um, this knowledge. Learn about it.